Not far from Shanghai, in a country town crisscrossed with watery canals, stands the palatial home of the Pang clan. It is 1921. The old master of the clan has just passed away. The young master, Cheng Da, was paralyzed and left effectively brain dead from an overdose of opium. The clan elders cannot help but turn the household over to Ru Yi, the beautiful young daughter brought up by the old man on opium smoke. Thus begins the intriguing story of Temptress Moon, the new film by the award-winning director Chen Kaige, who imprinted his name on the map of international cinema with Farewell to My Concubine. In Temptress Moon, I attempted to explore the inner thoughts of the characters. In doing so, I was actually trying to probe into my own inner thoughts. The two processes became a single one during the making of the film. That's why I've repeatedly said that the films that I made always have something to do with my own life. For me, to understand others, one must first understand oneself. The two will combine together to form an understanding of the world. Temptress Moon reunites Cheng Kai Ge with the two stars in Farewell to My Concubine, Leslie Cheung and Gong Li. In the new film, Cheung plays a part of Zhong Liang, a handsome gigolo who seduces married older women and then blackmails them. His cynicism and hatred against women, however, has stemmed from his shattering experience during the short time he spent in the Pang family when he was a youngster. I wouldn't say that the character I played was a villain. It's just that he'd had a terribly unhappy time when he was in his early teens, and this had changed him a lot. When he grew up, he became a gangster, sort of a triad of the time in Shanghai. Zhong Liang's sister was married to Zheng Da, the young master of the Pang clan. Upon the death of his parents, Zhong Liang moved to live with his sister in the Pang family. But he was only made a full-time servant and treated like a member of a lower class. In the end, Zhong Liang left the Pangs for Peking to study, but on his way, he met Biggie, an old-fashioned gangster, who took him under his wing and took him to Shanghai. Later, on Biggie's orders, he reluctantly returns to the Pang family, where he re-encounters the daughter, Ru Yi, played by Gong Li. What follows is an emotional maelstrom which neither of them would have expected. Temptress Moon is not only a story about the coming of age of a woman, it's also about human beings in general. However, I'm interested in this character 
because I think that in such an environment, economic situation and cultural context, a woman like Ru Yi would always be treated unfairly. I want to reverse this situation by giving her back her autonomy. In Farewell to My Concubine, I played a Peking opera actor who specializes in female roles. It's a great part, but I must admit I wasn't quite myself in that role. Zhong Liang in Temptress Moon is a role which I have never played before. Maybe because this time I'm playing a man, it makes it easier for me to get into the part and see things from his angle. Uh, also, because it's the second time I've worked with Chen Kai Ge, I was allowed more freedom in interpreting my role. As such, I felt very happy with my performance. In Farewell to My Concubine, Leslie and I were kind of enemies, you see. We were fighting for the same man. But in Temptress Moon, we we're emotionally bound to each other. I think Leslie is a great actor, and his performance inspired me a great deal on the set. We didn't rehearse a lot, and we tried not to memorize the lines completely. Instead, we did a lot of improvisation on the set, to very satisfactory results. Temptress Moon is essentially a story of emotions. It takes place in the 1920s in Shanghai and Suzhou. To interpret the story and to create an emotional impact on the audience, it relies a great deal on the actors. It requires the highest degree of concentration from the actors. Luckily, I was playing against one of the finest actresses of our time, Gong Li, who was such a pleasure to work with. Art must tell the truth. To say that, it doesn't only mean that artists must be honest, but also that the things they portray must be honest. This is a prerequisite for a work of art. Since it will be difficult for us to pinpoint others and our own weaknesses in reality, we can only do this in a work of art. Even if it's just a small hint, this is my objective in making Temptress Moon. A leading figure of China's fifth generation of filmmakers, Chen Kai-ge made his debut, Yellow Earth, in 1984. The film was an immense international success. At home, however, it was accused by some conservatives of exposing China's poverty and backwardness to the outside world. Despite this, Kai-ge went on to make several films. In 1993, he won the much-coveted Golden Palm Award at the Cannes Film Festival with Farewell to My Concubine. The film was also nominated for the Best Foreign Language Film at the Oscars. This is the second time I've worked with Kaige. The first time was Farewell. I had heard that he's a very strict director. How strict? I didn't have any idea. Well, having worked with him, I must admit that all these rumors about his seriousness were true. He insists on getting every single detail right. He is, of course, uh, a very demanding director. But, uh, what should I say? 
On the other hand, though, he can be a very funny person. Believe it or not, he can be very mischievous at times. Ru Yi, as played by Gong Li, is secretly attracted to Zhong Liang. It can be seen as a symbol of culture shock caused by the downfall of an old era and the birth of a new system. Indeed, the story of Temptress Moon opens on the evening of the surrender of the throne by Pu Yi, the last emperor, to the new republic. Xiaoyan,你不可以这样待姐姐的。姐姐是喜欢你才来看你的东西。喜欢我，那要看我喜欢不喜欢他。至于说到忠良呢？ on the part of Zhong Liang, his problem is that he cannot face his own emotions. When Ru Yi expresses her love to him, he doesn't know how to cope with it. I told Leslie to play the scene as if he's a retarded person, someone who desperately wants to express his emotions, but doesn't know how to. For me, Ru Yi is what I'd call an ideal person. She seems almost perfect. Having said that, I must also admit that she's perfect only in a comparative way. There's nothing perfect in the real world. Ru Yi can maintain her innocence because she's born and brought up in this very secluded world of the Pang clan. She's been kept almost totally away from the harsh reality of the outside world. As such, her way of expressing her emotions may appear to be almost shocking in the eyes of other people. I used to place my characters in an environment because I was somehow moved by that environment. But this time I've tried to show how man can control his own environment. Well, Kai Ge can be very temperamental at times, but he's really a very good director. There's no difficulty at all for me to get into the character. We all stayed in the same hotel in Suzhou during the whole shoot of the film. This allowed us plenty of time to get together and discuss our work. Uh, Kaige has the habit of calling all members of the crew and the cast to meet on the night before a shoot so that we can all raise our questions and make our contributions. I like this method a great deal and feel very comfortable about it. He's very pushy in the sense that he'd try all kinds of things to get the best performance out of us. Indeed, we all gave our best performances. It was a great experience. I think we really did our best. I mean, me and Leslie. You 
Let's try a different method. Just touch each other on the lips instead of really kissing. Very light touch, very beautiful. It may last a long time, but you should just touch each other's lips. Farewell to my concubine is about the conflict between a man and his society, about how society oppresses a man's emotions. Temptress Moon, on the contrary, is an exploration into a man's emotional world. In a sense, this is more a film of intuition than a film of the rationale. Despite the fact that Temptress Moon is essentially a psychological drama, it has cost 50 million Hong Kong dollars to produce. This is because of the specific background of the film, Shanghai in the 1920s. To recreate this, an entire set of the old Nanking Road was constructed outside the Shanghai Film Studio. And this alone cost more than 10 million Hong Kong dollars. Other elaborate sets include a fancy ballroom and the Pang's huge mansion. Many of my friends have told me that I must be nuts spending all this money on a film. But for me, the most important thing is to make a good film. And working with such talents as Chiang Kai-ge, Leslie Cheung and Gang Li, it's simply worth everything. The sets we built are all real, with real tracks and trams. We hired the best designers in China. For me, nothing is more worthwhile than making a good film which lasts. When I saw The King of Children in 1988, I immediately recognized the talents of Chen Kai-ge. The most amazing thing about Kai-ge as a filmmaker is that his talent seemed to be unfathomable. You don't know how far he can go. As a producer, my responsibility is to provide him with the best working conditions, such as a more flexible budget, the best actors, so that he can concentrate on the creative side of filmmaking. The 1920s was the birth of colonialism in China. It has a lot of similarities with today's China. It's a time when a lot of foreigners came to China to develop all kinds of industries and take all kinds of advantages. There's no exact moral code. You can say that it's full of energy, but at times it's also very raw and not unlike a jungle. <laughs> The new Chinese cinema is a movement which can only take place in a specific time. There are many complicated reasons. It's difficult to describe its differences from the works of the older generation of filmmakers. Maybe the most important thing is that my generation of filmmakers were raised during the Cultural Revolution. This had an enormous influence on our lives. 
I made Temptress Moon because I feel that the story has something to do with my present life. I'm not the kind of director who can take on any subject matter or script. I must develop my own feelings for the story before I can actually start shooting. <laughs> Temptress Moon also marked the first time collaboration between Chiang Kai Ge and Christopher Doyle, the acclaimed cinematographer of Wong Kar Wai's Chungking Express and Fallen Angels. The film has already been selected for official competition in the Cannes Film Festival in May. 